That pilot flying over Texas sounding fine one moment, suddenly an air traffic controller could detect slurring in his speech the next. The pilot had no idea himself, and this was not alcohol. ABC's Paula Ferris reports tonight this was something else. Nearly 5,000 flights go through her airspace each day. But it was the twin propeller plane on its way from Dallas to Michigan that alarmed air traffic controller Luella Hollingsworth. And Pfizer, one top of mic, I think you need to start a descent. Can you do that for me? Just going to maintain flight level 240. All she heard on the other end, heavy breathing. That's the sound of an unresponsive pilot soaring at 27,000 feet in one of the country's busiest airways. There's just nobody saying words. And then after 20 or 30 miles, I kept trying to call him. The pilot tries to respond. All right. Listen to him again, slurring his words. Another pilot hears the exchange. I don't know if you can hear that guy, but he does not sound good. I didn't know if he'd ever answer me again. She realizes he could be suffering from hypoxia or lack of oxygen. It's a dangerous condition. At high altitudes, pilots and passengers can lose consciousness in a matter of minutes. It's what happened on board famed golfer Payne Stewart's jet in 1999, leading to tragedy. Luella repeatedly urges the pilot to descend. Hey, one pop of mic, if you got the oxygen, try that. Um, just want to maintain flight of 180. Finally, a clear response. Pfizer, one pop of mic. And Pfizer, one pop of mic, you're sounding a little better. She guides him down to safety. 13,000 feet in 15 minutes. Thanks for the help. Way to go to that air traffic mm -hmm. controller. You were saying he was at 27,000 feet, but you pointed out to me at 35,000 feet, it gets very dangerous. Very dangerous. You may only have five to 10 seconds before you completely black out, before you grab that oxygen mask. That's why it's so important. And for that air traffic controller, big metal? Big metal shoe on the metal of safety. Well deserved. Mm -hmm. Paula, thanks to you.